I got three uh, top prize winners in the studio. Nakiat is the little wonder from the central region. She dazzled with brilliance. Everybody saw her with the top prize. Nakiat, how are you? Oh. Nakiat is here. Uh, Prince Autry is here as well. Prince Autry, congratulations to you. Thank you. And also Nene Kwajo. Nene Kwajo is the fantastic saxophone as you find. Nene, high five. Oh. <laughs> Nakiat, how does it feel to be the most talented kid in Ghana? I feel happy. You feel happy. That's all. What, how did you feel yesterday when you were called? I saw you jumping around on the stage. Did you want to jump around? Because you told me you faint when they give you the crown. Then you started jumping. The fainting didn't come. Why? What happened? By the grace of God. By the grace of God. I see. Prince, how did you feel as well yesterday? Very proud of myself. Very proud of yourself. Did yeah. you expect that you were going to be number, number three? Mm, I didn't expect that, but that's what God gave me. You were waiting for number one. <laughs> <laughs> Nene, you, you, you had great potential right from start with the saxophone. It's the kind of notes that you were playing and all. It hurts me that your saxophone is not in right shape at this point. But what has been the response since you became number two? Uh, people were expecting for me to be number one, especially my family. Okay. And my grandma was very disappointed when I was number one. So but are you disappointed? Uh, at least I did well. You did well. Yes. You did well. Now, Kiat, which of your performances do you remember to be your best performances? I mean, every performance of yours has had a lot of good reviews, but which is your best performance? Do you remember? Okay, tell me about it. It's corruption. Corruption. Okay, give me give me a few lines. You remember? You remember a few? Okay, yes. give me a few lines from from that performance. We live in a beautiful country with a beautiful people, rich cultural diversity, and a splendid heritage. Uh, let's hear it for Nakiat. Lovely. Nakiat, what do you want to be when you grow up? A pilot. You want to be a pilot. Somebody said you, sh you should be Ghana's first female president. I wish. You wish. Will you work towards it to be Ghana's first female president? Is that a promise? Yes. Okay. High five to that. Ah, okay. So we're, we're looking at Ghana's first female president coming up at you. But what next after talented kids, Nene Kwajo? What next, Nene Kwajo? I'm going to make, I'm going to have concerts okay. at various places. You're planning concerts. Are you planning collaborations as well? We say yes. Prince Autry. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. How was it? Yeah. <laughs> Prince, how are you? What uh, next after Talented uh, Kids? Collaborations uh, with mm -hmm. Amachi Dede. Okay, yeah. you're thinking of a collaboration with Amachi Dede. Yeah. Is, are you already working at it? Yeah, we are working on it. I see. What are you planning? You're cooking high life music or something yeah, like that? high life. I see. Interesting. Why Amachi Dede? Oh, because he's a legendary. Mm. He's a legendary person and I like his song. Okay, yeah. you like his song I like his well. song. Nakiat, so what next for you? you? I know you're in school, but what next for you? What plans have you been told about? Now you have the money, you're traveling to the UK. Okay, what, what next? Hmm. Mm. I don't know. You don't know. <laughs> but how do you feel going to the UK? You're going to the United Kingdom. You will possibly meet the Queen of England. How do you feel about it? I feel nervous. You feel nervous? Oh, why do you feel nervous? I don't know. You don't know. But you want to travel? 
Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. You want to travel, <laughs> but you feel nervous about it. You'll be fine, okay? It's just like a regular travel from Accra to, to Cape Coast, wherever it is anyway. Uh, and so I'm, sh I'm told that uh, uh, fourth runner-up is, uh, is, is uh, third runner-up, I beg your pardon, will join us shortly. We'll take a musical break. When we're done, we will get a chance to meet him. And uh, Sconzi GH, that's his name, he is the man who, I'm told, the Shatawales and the Stone Boys and the Saminis of this world will be looking forward to. But let's take a look at the awards as it went down last night at the National Theatre of Ghana. You'll be amazed. <laughs> Contested grand finale and at the end of the day, seven-year-old Naki Adramani has been crowned winner of the NTK season 10. And this must be a very proud moment for Naki Ad. Naki Ad, how does it feel to have won this competition? I feel very happy. Thank you, TV3. God bless you. What message do you have for your fans out there? The team in front. Thank you. God bless them. Give them long life. It's because of by the mother of seven-year-old Naki Adromani, winner of the Kids season 10. And she's super excited that her daughter has won this competition. She described Naki Ad as a special gift from God. In the first place, I give glory to the Almighty God. I'm very privileged to have a daughter like Naki Ad. I thank everybody, Ghanaians, those I know and those I don't know. I'm so happy. In fact, I don't know how to express my happiness. To me, she's more than talented. It's a special gift God has given to her because I've been teaching and at times I even forget the, the lines. And she'll even remind me, hey, Mommy, please, you have to go from this place to this place. So I think God has done it all. We've come a long way. I thank everybody, TV3. Oh man, the mom is super proud. But we've been joined by the fourth place winner, Sconzi G. How are you doing? Doing well. Everything cool? Everything okay. Normal. To welcome you, give us a few bars from your favorite performance you remember. Chin chin chin, dance a la racket. Dance a la shot with the wood like a racket. All oh, them a look, them could they never stop it. Don't know if I see it, blast wood. The wall of them a go kick up, them book it. Dance a la magic, mm -hmm. dance a la visa, town never ever static. Take over the world and in the Pacific. All over the attic and in the Antarctic. Dance a la we need EA1. You know, be say by force, we they do one. Maybe African thing, Africa may come from. Listen to the BS and the African drum. Out the nation, I rock up the world. Well, if I beat him, he's a man, medaya. Music are we talent, so we can retire. When we jump on the stage, we can get tired. We never believe in the devil, but the one messiah. Me killing every negative bad man, catch fire. Never watch me look for me, never hope a less man. Hey, never try me. Hey, okay, so thank you. I, you want to put your hands together for, for Skonzi G. <laughs> Skonzi, you, you're a four-place winner. I know that you have a lot of masses out there who wanted you to win this competition. You were shot out, you were brought back in. You showed up to the finals and all of that. How are they reacting to your your fourth place in this contest? Oh, they feel I'm blessed mm. because it, 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 it was not an easy journey, but mm. I still made it to the finals and whatever I had, it's praises to God. Mm. Uh, what informed your Superman costume yesterday? Is that? The Superman costume yesterday, what informed it? What? The Superman costume you wore yesterday, yeah. what informed it? Why did you choose to wear Superman yesterday? Superman, you know, dancehall is not static. Dancehall is always versatile. Mm. And you know, a Superman does not stay at one place, always flying in the air. Right. I want to be like a Superman right. in dancehall. Mm. I always want to be flying in the air, going places, places. Mm. And I also want to be changing the style in dancehall. I see. Yeah. What is it? About dance or do you want to change? <laughs> mm -hmm. Dance hall, people see dance hall to be uh, mm. when anybody is doing dance hall, they see dance hall as something bad. But mm. I want to change the style okay. of dance hall. 
For example, the violence that yeah. we see associated with dance hall. Yeah. You heard about Shatawali and Stoneboy recently. You yeah. want to change that? Yeah, I want to change How that. do you want to change that? How do you plan on doing that? I want to be decent in the dance hall and always put good lyrics in the dance hall, in the dance hall music stuff. Mm. I always want to be putting good lyrics in it to change the dance hall okay. style. I see. Interesting. Now, let, guys, let's talk about your worst performance on the night before we talk about your price packages. Mm. I'll start with you. Which was your worst performance and, and why did you get that? Do you remember? None of them. You don't remember any worst performance. Are you sure? Yeah. There was no day you were out for eviction? Uh, yeah. It is there, but... <laughs> so tell me about it. <laughs> <laughs> that was uh, Brothers. Okay. Wangalon. Mm. Yeah, I had yellow on that day. I see. But, but what happened? Mm, they told me, the advice they gave me is that uh, I shouldn't have moved from the keyboard. Okay. I shouldn't have moved from the keyboard okay. and I didn't, so they gave me. It, wa it yeah. was for you. Did it get to you? Did it hit you? Like? Did it hit you where you hit that, look, I've been getting good reviews every time, but this one, no. it didn't hit you at all. Yeah. Nakiat, do you remember any worst performance you had? On the competition, yes. you remember? Tell me about it. The premature baby. The premature baby. What happened? Hmm. They say it's too high for me. Uh, the subject is too big for you. Yes. Okay. But how did you feel? Did you think that the subject was bigger than you? No. No, not at all. So you because I'm a premature baby. Ah, okay. So you were telling your story. So you disagree with the judges? Mm. Did you let them know that you don't agree with them? Mm. No. <laughs> you didn't let them know why? But you, you have a very good rapport with the judges. Auntie Paulina, Uncle Ben, and all the against judges. You have a good rapport. Why didn't you tell them? You are very vocal. You speak very well. Why didn't you tell them? Were you scared? No. Why? Why didn't you tell them? Nothing. Nothing. You just wanted to let it go. Mm -hmm. Anyway, Nene, tell me. Any worst performance you yeah. remember? Tell me about it. Kiri Odo. Kiri Odo. Yeah. What happened? I think the sound wasn't very good, so it was breaking. Okay. So then I got here. Okay. So you missed a few things here and then you got it there. Skonzi, you remember any? Yeah. Tell me. <laughs> it was the day I was evicted. Okay. And that was by Grace. My own song. Okay. When I, w I was performing, I thought the monitors mm. were not working okay. at that moment. So they stopped me mm -hmm. because it was recording, please. So they stopped me and I went over again. When okay. I was performing, I got to the latter part and mm. I saw that the thing went off again. Okay. So by that time, I was not, I was not focusing on the performance actually, but I was checking I out your I monitors. I wanted to listen. Okay. To the song very well. Okay. But still, because the monitors are off and I can't listen to myself, mm -hmm. let, let me go like that. Okay. And, and it went against you. Yeah, wow. Sorry went. about that. I mean, we, we have a brighter time now. Let's talk about the price packages and then your advice to Ghanaian youth. We'll start from number four. What did you get after participating in Talented Kids Season 10? Tell me about it. The juicy price. Uh, 4,000. 4,000 CDs. Speak up for me. Add 4,000 <laughs> yes, CDs. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. And 7,000 education fund. Education fund for and you. I also had uh, some kiddie park juice and cowbell. Okay. And also uh, Sandra ice cream. Okay. A package from them. Okay. Yeah. I see. And Interesting. And I thank them for that. I see. Nice, nice, nice. Prince, let's talk about your price. Mm. Scholarship. I had scholarship and scholarship. Yeah. Okay. And Worth how much? Store. Do you remember? Mm, I don't. He remember. had seven thousand. Mm. So, okay. I let's talk. Let's. Then okay. I had packages from the uh, sponsors. Okay. Mm. I see. Cash yeah. price. Cash price. Over how much? I don't. don't you don't remember? <laughs> we will take all your prizes away from you. <laughs> Nene Kwajo, what do you remember? Your price packages. Yeah, I got uh, eight thousand CDs. And eight thousand CDs. And ten thousand education fund. Okay. And uh, souvenirs from sponsors. Okay. And uh, a trip to Dubai. A trip to Dubai. Say that loud. You got a trip to Dubai. So are you are you going to be a shake when you come back? 
<laughs> Dakiat, let's hear your price packages. Do you remember them? No. You don't remember? No. Oh, how? Why? You don't remember that you're going to the UK? I the United Kingdom, you remember that? You don't remember that you're getting 10,000 CDs? You don't remember? You remember that one as well? You remember yes. you're getting products from sponsors? Yes. You're getting education fund. Do you remember that? And do you know that you have the bragging rights now? Like the reigning queen of all the boys and girls in Ghana. No. You remember? You are the reigning queen. Nakiat is the queen. Is she not the queen? <laughs> anyway. Okay. Your advice to all the Ghanaian youth walking, watching you out there, the children watching you out there, what would you say to them? I'll start with you, Prince. What would you say to them, those who have a certain fear that, eee, I can't participate in talented kids, it's too high a stage for me to climb, and I cannot do the things that I need to do, my talent, I can't exhibit it. What do you have to say to them? Yeah, I'll tell them that they should believe in their talent. Mm -hmm. They should believe in what they can do, because everybody has talent. I see. And, uh, and um, I want the parents to also support their children. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because some parents don't support the talents of their children. Did you get support from your parents? Yeah, I had a lot support of it. from my a lot parents, of it. especially my mom. Your mom? Yeah. You like your mom, don't you? <laughs> yeah, mom, mama. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nene Kwaju, let's hear from you. What do you have to say to the Ghanaian children watching out there? You have seen it, you have experienced it. What do you have to share? Yeah. I think uh, they should sometimes have faith in themselves and they shouldn't give up so early yeah when i started it wasn't that good okay. i felt that my breath wasn't that good but right. from time to time i was able to what was your trick what did you do to oh, improve your breath my sex teacher told me that she always skip in okay. the morning okay. so 100 skip a day so okay. and when i did that then yeah. but did your parents support you yeah they always remind me i see to go and skip yes aha uh -huh. i see Sconzi, tell me, what do you want to say to the youth them, as you call it, out there? <laughs> <laughs> I want to tell them not to give up in whatever they are doing. When I started this show, getting to a point, I felt I should even tell my, my manager, oh, I, won't, I won't perform again, mm -hmm. I, won't, I don't want to be in the show again, but right. I still forced, mm -hmm. and I hoped that I'll get a position. So okay. I should continue what I'm doing. Mm. So Ghanaian out there should exhibit their talent, mm. should express themselves with their talent. Okay. And you see now, children, now when we get to know our talent, mm. then it's like we are staying away from school. Okay. So I want to also advise them that when they get to know their talent, right. they should keep on with their education right. because right. that's going to help them to prove mm. on okay. their talent. I see. Yeah. So keep your talent but go to school yeah. and get people. And Akiat, you have the final word. What do you want to say to us this morning? Okay. Future president of Ghana. <laughs> hmm. Talk to us. What do you want to say? What do you want to tell the Ghanaian children out there? Children of Ghana. My plea to you is to learn hard and be like me. That's what I can say. That's all you want to say. Yes. Wow. Okay. That's how the cookie crumbles.